Alright, hey guys, I just thought I'd do a little panorama view of the backyard as we're coming into mid-October. It's the 14th of October today. You can see the uh, sunflowers are really, uh, they took a lot over. We're still getting some squash down there. The tomatoes, they're still producing, but we're not harvesting a whole lot of those anymore. Uh, just except the big ones, these over here, because they get that kind of a weird taste in the fall. They can start getting those little brown spots on them, and we don't really like to care to eat those. So we got enough, you know, harvested off for uh, all of our dehydration and our tomato canning and ketchup and stuff this year. So we got quite a, quite a few. We got a quite a huge harvest, and next year we're going to cut back on the amount of tomatoes we grow. We're going to grow some other stuff. You can see the leaves on the, uh, the blueberries are starting to turn and come off. You can see the powdery mildew is really prevalent on a lot of the comfrey out there. Up on the squash. The squash is almost all gone now at this point. There's a couple that are down here that still get sun, you know, because in the, and then you can see that broccoli back there, it still gets sun over there in the afternoons. So I don't I haven't gotten any, you know, broccoli heads or side shoots off of that yet. So hopefully we can overwinter that. But if we have the hard winter that I'm expecting to get because we're on our 10 year cycle i don't think we're going to have much of anything survive for like the cabbage and stuff like that because this year is supposed to be a really heavy winter just from what i have a feel of and from what i've experienced every 10 years here in oregon that's usually the cycle that it goes so there's the uh we're still getting cucumbers and we still get quite a few of the uh the monte cristo beans and especially over there in that little patch there that was the last fall planting so we're getting quite a bit off that We've harvested off all the apples, except, oh, except for the uh, the Granny Smith over there. We're still leaving those on. You can probably see those back out in the back there. Let's see if I can zoom in for you. You'll be able to see them. Yeah. Peach tree's kind of in the way, but you get the idea. It's right back out there. We've got all the sunflowers, these fall ones. Boy, I really like these. We're going to be planting more of these next year, Paul and I. We're going to be planting them intermixed up there in the boxes because that's one of the big plans for next year is we're going to do a lot more sunflowers and we're going to focus on beans and cucumbers and not as many tomatoes. So we're only going to have a couple of maybe the Montesinos right here, but that's about it. We're not going to have them in all the other boxes. We're going to do some different stuff because we're planning on doing some traveling. Going and spending some time together, seeing Oregon. Let's see, what else have we got to talk about? Uh, lilac bushes are dropping their leaves. We're pretty much almost all off that one. The tomatoes up there, they're still producing quite a few tomatoes. I go and pick those out for our salads. You can see the pawpaw up there. It's going to lose its leaves in probably another week. They're starting to turn the yellow. Almonds are always usually the last ones to lose their leaves. Peach trees, they're starting to turn. As well as like the apple here, stuff like that. Everything's starting to go in its slowdown mode. Clover has really helped the, uh, the grass return back down in here. <laughs> That's always amazing. I didn't, I didn't, I thought the grass was just completely gone in here. We had all clover. Now you can see the grass is really taken off because all the nitrogen that's been uh, dumped from the clover. The strawberries are really starting to spread over in that area and around the side of the house. Oh, and that's kind of about it. Just a quick. Uh, Quick update, get back to doing some finish up work before I got to head to the office tomorrow and uh, tidy up the uh, downstairs where I've been doing a lot of work installing a new fireplace. All right, this has been Brian from PMB Homesteading. Talk to you guys again. Bye.